I'm Mike Foley, USPSA President. I'm Troy McManus, Director of NROI. This NROI tip will cover gauging magazines. This is the official USPSA magazine gauge manufactured by Evolution Gunworks or EGW. On the official USPSA mag gauge, there are two sides. One is 141.25 millimeters, and that's good for limited, limited 10 and carry optics. The other side is 171.25 millimeters, which is used to measure magazines used in open. The proper way to measure a magazine using the official USPSA magazine gauge is to insert the magazine base pad into the flat part of the gauge and observe the top of the magazine fitting into the angled side. There are two tabs on the inside of the magazine gauge. The rear of the magazine should fit flush against those tabs. This magazine fits well within the dimensions uh, provided on the gauge. Another magazine used in limited, limited 10 and carry optics is a Glock type magazine. This one has a base pad on it. This one also fits the magazine gauge and is legal for those three divisions. Sometimes a magazine is almost not legal. It's a little bit long, but with a slight amount of pressure, it will fit the gauge, and the back of the magazine will touch the tabs. You don't have to put any more than a single uh, finger's pressure on it to make it fit. This magazine is also legal. Some magazines are over length. Either the tube is too long or the base pad is too long. In this example, this magazine does not fit the gauge, and if it were to be used in limited, limited 10, or carry optics, would bump that competitor into open division. It really is as simple as no before you go. And if you don't have the official USPSA magazine gauge by EGW, the 2019 competition rules Appendix E1 will show you how to accomplish the same measurement with a ruler. Find out more at NROI.org. Branch is clear.